The president of Okwood University is leaving his job for another job within the North American division. Why is he leaving Oakwood University? I'm going to get you the details right now, so don't go anywhere. Let's get started. Recently, the alumni of Oakwood University pressured Dr. Pollard to resign from office because of these reasons. Number one, the financial health of the school. The second reason was the decline in enrollment. And the third reason was perceived lack of transparency. They accused the leadership of the school that they were not transparent in certain things. So all these coming together led the alumni to pressure Dr. Pollard to resign. For months, Oakwood University's alumni and former faculty have been calling for more transparency and accountability when it comes to their beloved school. They have demanded action on financial challenges they believe the university is facing, but have seen little movement or no progress. I shared that with you back in October. Now their requests are turning into very sharp rhetoric and calling for the president to resign. What we're ultimately hoping for is not just a change in who's in the president's office, but in the change in how Oakwood operates culturally and as a system. But for these three, who represent a much larger group of 1,700 Oakwood University alumni, former faculty and staff call the concerned Oakwoodites, change can only start at the top. Now calling for University President Dr. Leslie Pollard to resign. We know you're facing financial ch uh, challenges. We want to know how bad and what's the plan to get out of it. In a December letter calling for Pollard's resignation, the concerned Oakwoodites cite a number of what they call troubling patterns. Financial misrepresentations, enrollment declines, the accreditation status of the nursing program, and even Dr. Pollard's raises. It, it appears as though some things have been done that were uh, patently manipulative and deceptive. They highlight a 2022 audit conducted on the historically black seven-day Adventist institution, signing 43 million in total consolidated liabilities. Consequently, we just had to go dig in the 990 forms and, the, and uh, financial statements to come up with our own answers. So there's been no effort to explain the finances when we see the, 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 the decline. That's a problem when you're not consistently in increasing your enrollment to a level where you have the level of revenue to ba balance out the operation. Oakwood spokesperson issued a statement explaining its position in response to enrollment, quote, like most faith-based colleges and universities, including seven-day Adventist universities in the North American division, Oakwood University faces the challenge of attracting greater numbers of students from a shrinking available pool. Accreditation? On December 6, 2023, the 77 members of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges Board of Directors, on behalf of the U.S. Department of Education, voted the full 10-year institutional accreditation to the university through to 2032. And finances, quote, Previous financial and enrollment challenges required adjustments in financial operations, but did not affect solvency. Expenditures on student scholarships and designated funds used for capital projects reduced our cash on hand. However, there has been no new indebtedness. And regarding Dr. Pollard, the Board of Trustees strongly supports and affirms the president, his administrators, the university's dedicated faculty, our sacrificial staff, and the stellar students we are each privileged to serve, end quote. So it is believed that the sustained pressure from the alumni is also part of the reasons why Dr. Pollard is leaving Oakwood University. Yes, the pressure from the alumni is part of the reasons why Dr. Pollard is leaving the university. But where is he going now? What job is he going to do? Friends, there is a post by the North American Division and that post actually tells us where Dr. Pollard will be going. Or it tells us what job 
he is going to do after leaving Oakwood University. And so I want to share this article right here with you. Um, as I said, this article was posted by the North American Division, friends. So let's go ahead and read this article. Oakwood University President to take on new role at the North American Division. So the title of the article actually shows us where he will be going after leaving Oakwood University. He will be going to the North American Division to work with them, right? That is it. So let me give you some details of the article. Um, when you come down here, it says, on Monday, October 21, 2024, the Oakwood University Board of Trustees announced that Leslie N. Pollard, PhD and d -Mean, has accepted a new position with the North American Division. In a statement, Oakwood University shared that Pollard has accepted a new opportunity to join the North American Division as assistant to the President for Pastoral Continuing Education and Mission. He will assume his role on July 1st, 2025, continuing to serve as President of Oakwood University through the remainder of the 2024-2025 school year. So this statement actually shows that um, Dr. Pollard will be leaving Oakwood University, but he will not leave until the academic year comes to an end. Comes to an end. And uh, that is going to happen, I think, somewhere 2025, you know. So he is still going to be the president until the academic year goes to an end. And then he will move to the North American Division to work there. All right, let's continue with the article. In this new role, Pollard will supervise and coordinate the division's engagement with continuing education for clergy and second career ministerial professionals. The position itself is new to the NAD and part of a collaboration with the General Conference, which will provide funding for three years. The position is geared toward helping to foster a comprehensive alignment with theological training and uh, continued learning. Dr. Pollard brings a wealth of experience and uh, expertise to our division family, said J. Alexander Bryan, NAD president. He will assist in our ongoing journey with the continuing education and development of our pastors in a comprehensive manner. His unusual background in higher education and pastoral ministry uniquely qualifies him for this assignment. We are excited to welcome him to this team. In the published statement, the Oakwood University Board extended its profound gratitude to Pollard for his nearly 15 years of dedicated service as their president. During his tenure, Oakwood University achieved many milestones and significant achievements that the Oakwood family will celebrate later in the school year. His leadership was instrumental in guiding the institution through the pandemic, launching innovative graduate programs, pioneering research on the spiritual life of young adults, strengthening community ties, securing unprecedented financial grants and uh, broadening our representation in state and national educational associations, the statement read. So friends, that was the long, long, long statement, friends, long statement released by the North American Division. And uh, the statement actually explained um, Dr. Pollard's leaving Oakwood University and joining um, the NAD team in working for, for Christ, yes. But, you know, it looks like they have created a new a new work right at NAD for Dr. Pollard. But that is not the case we are talking about right now. The concerned Oakwoodites, I mean, the alumni of Oakwood University, like many of them are happy. Many of them are happy that Dr. Pollard will be leaving.
all right we'll be leaving and so they shared this and let me share that with you right now um they said one year ago we stood together united by a shared vision to save and restore our beloved Ukud university we believe they announced resignation of dr leslie pollard as Oakwood's president marks a significant moment in this quest. We must continue to stand as one, supporting our university with unwavering solidarity while pursuing the following, transparency and accountability. So this was the statement shared by the alumni um, concerning the resignation of Dr. Pollard. In fact, they are happy. They're happy that he's leaving. This statement is found on Spectrum website, all right? So um, if you go right there, you're going to see everything. Friends, this is all that I had to share with you concerning um, what is circulating around Dr. Pollard, I mean, the president of Oakwood University, right? Thanks for watching, friends. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe because we share and comment on events that are taking place both within and outside of the SDA church. So we are doing news and commentary right here. <laughs> Friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. God bless.